You know, when I first got into personal development, I went to all these conferences, expecting to meet all the great gurus and all the idols and icons that I admired so much, shake their hand, and have this wisdom imparted to me through my channels of my body, and then I'd have this aha moment, and suddenly it would be happy, rich, successful, fit, motivated, and so on. But so often what I found was that I'd go to these events, I'd feel like I could conquer the world for about a day when I got back. And then the first day that I ran into a barrier, I was kind of screwed, a little bit bummed out, and suddenly lost that motivation, the rah-rah motivation, to improve my life. Well, in this video, I want to talk about some of the lies and the problems with personal development. And what I see are two or three of the big insights for actually making it work to really improve your life and not just watch another video or buy another course. What's up, guys? Alex Hine, author of the book, Master the Day. Now, for me, personal development is the essence of goal setting. And they're like the yin and the yang in the sense that you need to improve yourself, but improve yourself in a specific direction. And one of the things that can help is the yearly vision planning worksheet I've included on how to have your best year ever. It's the first link in the description box. It's called the Best Year Goal Setting Worksheet. And it'll also bring you through an email course on how to have the best year of your life. So you can check it out down there below. To me, one of the big issues with personal development, or rather the way we approach it, is thinking that information is the savior, but it isn't. Application is. I mean, the number of people I've met investing thousands of dollars into courses, or on a lesser level, watching hundreds of YouTube videos on how to improve your life, but then doing nothing is crazy. I mean, I've spent $2,000 on event tickets where maybe 2% of the people there actually have a business and 98% just spent $2,000 to listen and get rah-rah motivation and they haven't done anything in the last year. I mean, that's crazy to me and it's almost criminal in my mind. So the idea that the right information will save me is false. It's silver bullet thinking. Applying the right information is the virtue of this flaw. The second thing for me is this idea that you just need the right piece of information. And you see this kind of flaw show up where people go to the seminar and they're like, I think this is the piece. I think this coach is the missing piece. I think this book is the missing piece. I think this course is the missing piece. And that may be true. It may be a missing piece. But expecting to find the piece that completes the geographic map of the earth of all reaching all your goals and all the mysteries of the universe, this is just flawed thinking. This is another manifestation of silver bullet thinking, expecting to find the one thing that will solve it all for you. And along the lines of thinking that that one magical piece of information will be the solution to everything is the corollary of if I meet the one person, the right introduction, it is just green lights all the way down to my goals. And all of these, what they're really saying is that you value finding the one thing that will solve everything for you as opposed to the daily grind of being in the dirt, doing the work, showing up every single day, and really it's a flawed mental model of achievement. So what's the solution? The solution is the idea of pushing the boulder on flatland. All right? So think of this. You're a person, you're trying to shove this massive boulder which is on flat ground. Right? It's humongous. It's like several tons. The first push, nothing happens. The second push, nothing happens. Maybe the 500th push, nothing happens. But you push, push, push for two hours. You're pushing this big rock. And eventually, it starts to spin. And it's rolling this slow. And you keep pushing, you keep pushing, and then gradually it goes faster and faster and faster. And then you have this boulder, which is everything you've been trying to work towards, that's actually moving on its own. So then you ask me, or I ask you, which push got that boulder to move? Was it the first push? Was it the thousandth push? Was it all of the pushes? This is the, really, this is the real essence of goal achievement. It's not one thing. It's not one push. It's not the first push. It's not the last push. Each thing gives you a piece to the puzzle to complete your own kind of goal setting philosophy and your goal achievement process. But just like pushing that boulder, it's the cumulative result of the daily little things that you do over time that will help build 
that excellence in every part of your life that you want. But when you reflect back, it's not usually the one push that you can reflect upon that got the boulder of your goals going. It's usually all of the things. And there's usually hundreds of little pieces that you got, or thousands. Each day could be a little piece. Each day is a push of the boulder. So if each day you're showing up and you're still pushing the boulder, one of the days, the boulder's going to start to move. And that's when you've gotten the momentum that came from the last thousand pushes, not just the last push. So this is a little bit about my own personal philosophy on what makes success. And when you look for what are the little things I can do daily instead of what's the one big push, then you start the first hundred pushes that eventually get that boulder going and eventually help you reach your goals and build this incredible thing you're trying to make with your life. So I hope that analogy helps a little bit. But again, these are the kind of things that I talk about in that free goal setting e-course. Again, that first link in the description, you'll get a worksheet and also a series of emails on goal setting and the process that I use for setting and achieving my own goals. That's the first link in the description. Otherwise, I will catch you in the next video. And of course, you can check out my last related videos right there and right there.